Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today, I just received from Team Black Sheep the TBS Discovery Pro. So we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna open it up right now and see what's inside. Okay, open it up. I've been waiting for quite some time pre-ordered I joined the pre-order I was in batch number one and uh, it started July 1st so it's been it's been quite some time I definitely couldn't wait like a bunch of other people on there I've been checking my emails every single day seeing where it's at seeing when it's coming looks like you got some pack in here See the frame, here's one, here's another, well, let's see what else is in here. I ordered some arms, some extra arms to have, it's actually for that one, those arms are for a buddy of mine. I ordered some 9 by 5 props. From Grotner. I have a 10 by 5 on mine right now, but I'm eventually going to go to a uh, 4 cell instead of 3 cell. We got some Velcro straps. We got plenty of those. Let's see what else is in here. There's the other two arms. I ordered some screw packs. As you can see, some extras. These are a dollar for, it looks like, a dollar per two. So I got a bunch of extra screws to keep on hand because I kept stripping the, the old ones. And here's some of the parts for the gimbal. These are the dampeners. Looks like the green are soft, medium. Looks like the red might be medium, orange might be hard. There's a couple different packs in here. Have to, let's see, it says orange is hard, red is medium, and green is soft. It looks like from all the pictures that I've seen, I've seen everybody, they've been using the uh, red and orange. So I guess we'll be checking that out to see what's what's good so that'll be soon to come and then this comes with a XT60 pigtail for the frame I will not be using that but because I use uh, Dean's uh, let's see I ordered some extra plugs always can use some of those that's not what comes with the Pro Kit. I ordered just the Pro frame and gimbal. So, uh, what comes with that is it's pretty much just the frame, uh, this, not the props, not the arms, not these. Um, it comes with the Velcro straps. Actually, you know what? I might be wrong. It might be. It might come with these. I think it might come with those. So let's see what's in this box. Looks like you got the first two motors for the gimbal. They both have TBS Discovery Pro on them. That's pretty nice. So these are the two motors. Got those two. Let's take a look. Let's see what else is here before we open the frame? Because I really want to look at the frame. The frame looks. Amazing from all the photos I've seen. Um, the best site to go and check out stuff uh, and talk to Trappy himself. Uh, if you go to fpvlab.com and you could go under the Team Black Sheep uh, section under that forum, and uh, you can talk pretty much about anything. You can talk about the TBS Pro, you can talk about their Zephyr, whatever you want. You can find out questions ask other people their opinions and stuff like that. That's a great forum to go on. 
All right, so looks like we got the cables and the IMU. So that's one of the parts. And here comes, you got the spacers, you got the camera plate here. Uh, you got the, you got a bearing, you got some screws, a bunch of stuff in this one. This is the small parts bag. So that's that. So let's see what else. And this is also in this one, the IMU. It's the GoPro video out and then the cables. So there's a couple things in there. And then here, we'll open this up right now. Grab my knife. Up. This is the gimbal. So these are all the machined aluminum parts. They come nicely wrapped, it looks like. There's one of the pieces. This looks like the frame mount to mount it to the frame. Here's a piece of the gimbal. Another piece. Let's see what else. Looks like we got all the pieces here. There's a motor plate. If you have any technical questions or anything like that, um, you can ask me. I can try to answer them. Uh, I usually look up on and make sure my information is correct before I uh, reply to anybody. Um, I will reply to you as soon as I can and uh, I'll check. If I do not know, I'll give you a link to uh, check out on your own. So it looks like here's all the gimbal pieces here. So we got everything all for the gimbal, unpacked. Put it back over here. It's pretty nice, I like the black. It's all aluminum, it's nice. It's a very nice thing. So let's take a look at the frame. This is the top plate. And here's the IMU uh, cover that they if you can tell, let me see if I can zoom in here and get it a little better. You can see they put their logo on it. So this covers, this goes on top of the GoPro. This is the IMU board. Um, and this is awesome. I love that detail that they did to it. It's so nice. Gives it that nice touch, just like Team Black Sheep always does. So we'll put that to the side. All right, so we'll take a look at the frame. Very nice. Everything is integrated on the board or on the frame. So you don't need to have a second board or anything like that for the gimbal controller. Everything is right on the frame, as you can tell. Um, and they are using the Alex Moss board. They even integrated the Easy UHF over here, I see. That's brand new. That's really nice touch. Can put your RSSI link right to there. That's nice. You got your USB plug here for the gimbal to do the updates and all the settings. Uh, let's see, you got your video transmitter. This is the plugs for the gimbal and the IMU plug in here. Uh, you got the camera. Now, then you got the uh, bottom link. So this links the two top and bottom uh, plates. So it's pretty nice. You even got your your set setup buttons here. There's three of them. Pretty nice. That's a new add-on. So all in all, it's very nice. It's got TBS Team or Discovery Pro written on it. Pretty nice. I love their frames. And this one is definitely an awesome frame. It almost looks like a computer. Uh, motherboard or something. It's pretty nice. Alright, so let's take a look at the bottom. The bottom's got the core on it. So this, I, I noticed that they changed the core cover. So now it says TBS Discovery Pro on top of it. 
That's pretty nice. They have it all soldered up ready for you to use. So that's ready. Uh, you got all your links. Here's the top plate link. So you can link the top and bottom plates. Uh, you got your 50 amp current sensor if you use the TVS core. If not, you have to take it out and uh, wire it up to like if you wanted to use a external OSD. Um, so pretty much the bottom's pretty basic. It's pretty much the same as the original TVS with a few minor changes where it's placed and everything. But besides that, it's pretty much the same. Um, and they did add the solder points to both new frames, the Pro and the original. That is really nice. So when you put the camera plate for the FPV camera, you solder those two points and the point on the top of the top plate and it will uh, stay in place very nicely. That's a nice touch. They did that to the, the new uh, standard uh, TPS Discovery. So this is mine. This is my soon to be converted to a uh, TBS Pro. That'll be coming up soon. Um, I'm hoping to do a build video for the TBS Pro. Um, there's quite a few out there, but I'd like to do my own version of it. So I will be changing over a bunch of things. As you can see, I have my uh, the uh, OSD. This is Team Black Sheep's OSD. And they have their current sensor running right here. It's not exactly how I would want it to run on my new one, but this is where I placed it on my old one just because it was there, easy to use. Um, if anybody asks what this big black thing is, this is actually a beast cap. It's a capacitor, and I plug it in between the battery and wherever it's going to, ESCs, whatever. And this prevents a lot of the uh, voltage sag that you get when you do hard punches and stuff like that. So this is actually made by a buddy of mine. Uh, I will put the link in the description below for that. Um, and then you see I put copper. This is copper tape. This is great to block out some of the interference that the NASA gives, especially because I put the GPS, as you see, it's very close and tight to the frame. So that's copper tape. Works really well. It cuts out all the interference you get so that the GPS will pick up uh, GPS or will pick up satellites quicker. Um, besides that, thanks for looking at my video. Check out my other videos. There'll be more videos to come. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a good build video for this. I was waiting um, to get this one to do a nice build video. I built two Discovery, uh, the regular Discovery already, and. I had some issues with the video. I wasn't able to get a video uploaded for that one. So this one, I hope I'll be all good and everything will come through clear and we'll get it all built up and ready for everybody to watch. And uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked the videos uh, and have a nice day.